Hey guys, what's up? It's KB here. So let's learn how to upgrade your Windows 10 or old version of Windows 11 to Windows 11 22H2 using a ISO file. Windows 11 22H2 is a most recent version of Windows 11. And if you're someone who is thinking about upgrading your Windows 10 to Windows 11, this is the best version of Windows 11 right now. So actually, before we begin, I need to tell you guys something which Microsoft will never tell you to do from my personal experience i can say that it is best to do a clean install of any next version of windows by doing a clean install you make sure that you'll have the best windows experience plus you make sure that you won't get into any issues after upgrading so clean install is the way to go so if you have a time please do a clean install but if you don't have a time you just want to upgrade you can it's not like you cannot but there is a chance that you might get into any issues any bug on your windows system so this is just a little tip for you guys i actually myself do a clean install almost every time whenever there is a new major update for windows or next version of windows so now let's begin how to upgrade using iso file so i have this windows 10 running here but if you're on windows 11 old not in windows 11 22h2 actually go to about your pc section and here you can check the version in your windows 11 if it says 21h2 that means you have a old version of windows 11 but if it says windows 11 22h2 that means you don't need to follow this tutorial now actually there are three ways to upgrade to windows 11 22h2 first most easy way to do it is by going into the windows update section and check for update or it will say windows 11 is ready and you can download it and install and second way is by downloading a windows 11 installation assistant tool and the last method in my opinion the best method is by downloading an iso file and using that iso file to upgrade so go to this website it's official microsoft website from here you can download the windows 11 h 2 iso file for free officially go to the section windows 11 disk image iso and after that select windows 11 download choose your language and confirm and then click on 64-bit download click on that and it will download the iso file okay actually before we begin we need to check our pc whether it supports windows 11 or not for that download this application pc help check which i will put link in the description for that you can go there and download it and then click on check now and if it says this pc meets windows 11 requirements then you're all good but if it says it doesn't support windows 11 or something like that you see a red mark here that means you cannot upgrade to windows 11 officially now go to your downloads folder where you have the windows 11 h 2 iso file downloaded right click on it and click on mount it will mount the iso file as a dvd drive on your system and in here you'll see a setup file right click on that and click on run it as administrator now it will say install windows 11 so in here just click on next if you want to install windows 11 now it will check for updates and might take some time after that you need to accept the terms and conditions just click on accept and now it will again check for updates might take some more time next it will say ready to install and it will say install windows 11 and it will also say keep personal files and apps by default both will be checked and basically uh, it will save your files folders and programs that you have on your old windows 10 or 11 it will not remove anything from your system but if you want to remove and you want to do semi clean install of windows 11 what you can do is click on change what to keep click on that and in here you'll have three options keep personal files and apps keep personal files only and it will remove the applications programs games whatever you have and third option nothing if you choose this it will actually do a semi clean install and it will delete all the files all the programs that you have on your old windows so as i said earlier doing a clean install is a best so if you have a time to download your programs games and you can do a clean install choose this third option and this is actually the 
easiest way to do a clean install of any windows i will actually make a separate tutorial for this okay so right now we are just focusing on upgrading so i'm just gonna keep personal files and also keep applications games and everything so i'm gonna choose the first option so now to begin just click on install and now it will install windows 11 just like this even though it's installing in full screen you can actually go to the desktop and you know you still have time to do some stuff you just need to press the windows key on your keyboard and it will open the windows key and yeah you can go here and do whatever you want to do maybe you forgot to back up something you can still back up okay it's been almost 10 minutes uh it's still at 75 percent complete so actually this process might take even longer depending on how many files and how many programs you have on your windows 10 or 11 because we are upgrading it so it has to merge the old windows with all the files and with all the installed programs games whatever you have to the new version of windows so it might take like maybe even more than an hour so yeah if you have lots of files and programs <laughs> you'll have to wait a long time to upgrade. I'm just gonna have to wait maybe another five or 10 minutes. Let's see. Okay, actually it took me another five minutes and uh, it looks like it's done. Uh, your PC will restart in few moments and now it's restarting. Finally, I can have water. <laughs> I'm tired looking at my screen. So I had nothing on my Windows 10, so it took around solid 20 minutes maybe 15 20 minutes because i had nothing on my windows but as i said earlier if you have lots of files and programs it will take time i mean a lot maybe hour maybe two hours yeah so now you can see working on updates so it's again gonna update now it's going to be quicker actually uh, 74 already uh, within like one minute so yeah and we are done now you just need to log in and it says hi hi windows 11 <laughs> getting things ready for you actually yeah we are done almost there come on i cannot wait thank you we are here yes finally <laughs> took like hella long time actually not that much compared to uh, the people who have lots of files but still you know if we go to the about section uh, about your pc section and in here you can see this is the windows 11 h2 if you see this you're good you have successfully upgraded to windows 11 h2 that's it hope you enjoyed it guys if you still have any questions or any suggestions for me please do the comment we can have some chit chat in the comments yeah that's it <laughs> i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye